Oh, Brian. Dropped it right in his mouth. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another video on the channel, freshly back from 85 degrees and sunny and warm every day in Florida, right back to 31 degrees and freezing cold in Kansas. Special guest in the boat today, Garrett Nolte from Mid Kansas Marine. Came and dropped off my boat for me this morning and I said, hey, we should just go fishing. And here we are. So time check is almost one o'clock. Got a little bit of a late start, but on a day like today, it does not matter at all because these fish are so dumb and so hungry. Water temp dropped all the way down to 54 from 61 when I was out of town. Got easily over five or six inches of rain while I was gone. And that is exactly what this lake needed to finish turning over. And the water still looks like shit, but thankfully turnover is finished and these fish are super, super dumb, super hungry. Doesn't matter, it's post frontal. We've got the perfect wind and the perfect bite. We've already caught probably 15 or 20 fish conservatively so far before I pulled the cameras out. Got a new camera angle too from Yolo Tech on the uh, front graph. Garrett's live scoping them, I'm casting at them. He may go back to casting too. We've been catching him live scoping them, but the casting bite up to the shallow flat is super on, on fire right now. So that's just kind of what we're doing, but hope you guys enjoy this one. Just thought I'd put out a quick video now that I'm back. Gonna be balls to the wall guiding all the way up till uh, pretty much Christmas at this point. So it should be a fun little rip. I don't know how much time Garrett has, but he's gonna have to tear me off the lake today because they're biting and it's fun. So like I said, hope you guys enjoy this one. Might throw some live scope footage in. We'll see what happens. So again, the key with the casting is just like, when you cast, close your bail, put that line right in the water, and then you can open your bail again to let a little bit of line out so it sinks, but it just helps to not have that big bow back there, but let it sink. I feel like this water, since it's gotten colder, is way more dense. So it takes longer for that bait to fall. So even when you're reeling, you know, just like a slower kind of, just a slower little retrieve like that. But as long as your bait's on the bottom, I don't think it matters. <laughs> They're up there and hungry. So stupid, so stupid. This right here is what fall is all about to me. West wind, cold, crappy, not another boat on the lake. Obviously wish the fish were bigger. I told Garrett they were probably biting really good first thing this morning, but he had a long weekend. I had a long day of traveling back from Anna Maria Island yesterday. So we just took our time. And we've already broken in the clean aqua traction with White bass shit everywhere up here. <laughs> double, double trouble. A lot of the same fish, but it's uh, pretty fun. <laughs> Strong work. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Feeling spooky. These fish are not spooky though. <laughs> oh man. Where are all the big wipers? Well, they already bit this morning, you see? They're biting it all the way back to your feet at the boat here. Yep. <laughs> yep, we are back offshore too. I know in the last video I posted, actually when I was in Florida, from a couple days before I left, we were up on the bank, but the offshore bite was weird and those fish just wouldn't do it. Now they're back offshore and they're eating. They'll just look like little rocks right on the bottom. Sometimes you can't even see them, but obviously we know they're up there. Oh, are you on the live scope? Oh. Oh my God, that bait never even hit the bottom. Never even hit the bottom. 
Come on, Garrett, I know you can catch them. Everyone's gonna think, oh, your dealer comes to fish with you, and then, oh, it's a walleye. You don't even put them on the fish. Garrett's been catching them, don't worry. It's another one for next year's, next year's crop. I feel like the longer it sits on the bottom or sits in front of those fish, the better. But just like this less is more type, type thing. Oh my God, Brian. Wow. I was looking at your rod the whole time because you just missed one and then I got bitten. And... <laughs> That's another tip too. Like try not to change the direction of your rod too much. So if you're going to, there you go. Perfect. That's exactly how I was going to tell you to set the hook. Whoa. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you're reeling this way, I always try and set this way. But if you're reeling down, don't set up the opposite direction try and keep it like either off to the left or to the right over one of your shoulders oh it's so stupid so stupid dude this is a good sign i may not be able to put this video out until like january because if the walleyes are loading up on this spot no way <laughs> yeah you bet. Shout out to Lane Peterson, Rally Time Jigs. Jeff with Backyard Bait Shop, don't be mad. He sent me some jigs on them. Boom. Doubles. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, I lost mine. Shit. That looks heavy. Heavier. Heavy-ish. Talk to me about the fish. It feels kind of fishy a little bit. Feels like it has gills. Just make sure he doesn't go for the pole because he will. I know. Clear. Money. I'm coming with the net just because. Oh yeah, that's her. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's Nadine. Hello, Nadine. Well, Garrett said he was looking for a bigger one and she was in there. But again, it's like there's so many fish around. It's like, how do you weed weed through them all? Mm, yeah. All right, bro. Pop down on the cockpit here and I'll pass her off. Slide your fingers up in her gill like that. There you go. Then use your thumb, lock the, there you go. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the wiper you were looking for. Bad. Now we can go get Bloody Marys. <laughs> All right, let's get the release over here. Or wherever's clever. Yeah, she'll be good. Doesn't have to be pretty. Nice work. That's the one we needed. And with the swim baits like that, I always crank the drag down a couple more clicks. You can always back it off. So yeah, when I heard her pulling drag, I was like, that's not, uh-oh. Do I have her sister? A smaller version of her sister, I think. I think we're gonna double up. It's heavy. Yep. Yeah, not super small. I'll get her. I can grab the line. 15 pound flower carbon. There we go chunk chunky monkey not even long just fat battle shad demolished as always nice yep oh no <laughs> yep i feel like he was maybe looking for somewhere else to go fish, but then there were no fish and now he's here. <clears throat> I 
they are full of it got them no <laughs> sometimes they can be tough on a long line like that to get a good good hook another baby wiper mini guy time for a new battle shed got him all right Feeling heavy again? Nope, nope, oh, wrapped up. No, he's, it's in his mouth. It just Sometimes those big whites get all wrapped up in their fin. There you go. Nice fish. Just cannot be mad at white bass that are 16 and a half to 17 inches like that. Show them to the folks at home. Folks at home, folks at home. Tank whites. You betcha. Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Taking you out to the, the channel. Maybe not as big as we think. Nope. That's just a big white. Big white bass. Very nice. Mm hmm Tiny. Oh, maybe not tiny, I don't know. Yeah, not super tiny. Baby wipey. Never gets old. Are you bored yet? No. Gotta go home? Speaking of hauling ass towards the boat, wow. Big white. I think he's brain dead. <laughs> I gotta stop watching your rod tip because <laughs> I just see it go thunk. Nice white. Got him that time. Who's that? A little wiper? Yep. Yeah, it's just funny because I'll tell clients like, oh, that's a small wiper. And they're like, what do you mean that small? It's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Well, they make them five times that size. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a two-year-old wiper that's been in the lake for that long, if that. Nice. Still so much fun. Her? Is it her? Had a good run yeah. Oh, that's pretty good head shake, Scare. <laughs> she's running at the boat, and then she's not, and then she is. Huh, just another pissed off littler one. Yeah, good luck trying to tell a wiper to calm down. That's like trying to tell your girlfriend or your wife to calm down. <laughs> Has the same effect. Finally, here you go. That's why they call them battle sheds. It's actually just a crappie bait, but sometimes I just feel like having that smaller profile gets you way more bites. Because I feel like even if you put like a giant, like four to six inch swim bait on to try and catch the bigger wipers, the little white bass would still get it yes yeah, sir that's stupid oh nice dude that's a big sauger a true sauger every time i'm dicking around with something else you always catch a good one so I'll show you on their dorsal fin. 
he's got these black spots. Oh. Walleyes don't have that. And typically, well, it's only because the water is cold that his skin is so pale, but saugers have black blotches all along the side where walleyes are just straight gold. But the, uh, the dorsal fin, the spots on the dorsal, that's a dead giveaway. That one would definitely be considered dinner. But yeah, seriously, when, like days like this, this time of year, when they're biting like this, you could fish for 12 hours and they would never stop biting. Like we could just sit on the same fish all day, every cast. <laughs> this is why my April and November book a year in advance. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Yep. How many uh, subscribers do you have now? Just about to turn 32, I think. 32,000. But I mean, honestly, in the YouTube world, I just feel like subscribers don't even really matter anymore. It's all about your views that you're getting. Oh, yeah. Another double. Weird. Wow, my white bass is like a quarter, a third of the size of yours. <laughs> all fish need cop, right? That's right, can't catch them all if you don't catch them small. Well, and that's one thing too that a lot of people tend to do and I've kind of seen you do it a few times, there you go. Is uh, some people have a tendency to like reel and set at the same time and that just pulls it right out of their mouth. So you just, sometimes you just gotta remember to like set the hook first and then reel. There we go. Another dub. Just switched up to the custom Aaron Mick hair jig that he sent me. Okay, it's not a giant, but it is one for the hair. Cause I was just telling Garrett on days like today when they're biting so good, you can just experiment with different baits that you wouldn't normally fish, but big shout out. Love you, Aaron. Sexy, cute little hair jigs equal dinky little white bass. All right, boys and girls. Well, that is just gonna about do it for us today. Had an absolute blast and obviously, as always, he's back there somewhere. Big shout out to my good buddy, Garrett. Thank you so much Thanks, for getting, getting all the boat stuff stitched up while I was out of town. I don't know if you guys saw in some of the B-roll and I've talked about it. I posted pictures on the Facebook page, but had them swap out the Pro XS decals all on this whole thing. Get rid of all that red crap. Went with the silver, it's like more of the carbon fiber here and then did the same thing on the kicker so anything you can dream of on top of aqua traction uh, mid kansas marine can do so thank you so much to garrett for not only getting all this stuff done on a uh, short time frame while i was out of town but also hand delivering my boat back to me and uh, getting to go fishing was just a bonus it was well worth it worth it yeah they were uh they were biting today i don't think that we could have had anything really better except for maybe some bigger bites but there were so many fish around that it didn't really make a difference i needed that after coming back from florida i needed that tug wasn't anybody else out there so couldn't have asked for anything more so thank you guys so much for watching all the gear we used will be in the description below in as well as mid kansas marines link so if you guys are in the kansas area please make sure contact garrett and kayla and casey and robbie and shelly and andy over at mid kansas marine tell them i sent you so hope you guys enjoyed this one we'll see you back here for much more content coming up as it gets colder Thank you.